Uh, right now I'm going to show you, um, as you can see, let me step back here. Honda Del Sol um, SI95 model, just got it. I'm going to show you how to diagnose a misfire. Um, <clears throat> of course, you know, do this at your own risk. This is the way I do it. But by starting this car up, it, it starts up, it idles rough. And when you go to accelerate, I'll show you right now. Uh, I found the fucking key for it. See, it starts. Idle is a little bit rough. And then when you rev it, you can tell it's not right. So, like I said, do this at your own risk. Now, I've already checked this and I already know what the issue is, but I'll go through the steps of uh, actually diagnosing it. Now, the way I say, the reason I say do it at your own risk, because if you've got a uh, ignition coil inside the distributor that is already weak, if you try this, it might just blow it completely out. But in most cases, you don't really have an issue. So the first thing you want to do is isolate where the misfire is coming from. So <clears throat> you want to pull the uh, spark plugs out, those spark plug wires out while it's running. Okay. And you want to check for um, the idle to change when you pull the spark plug wire out. Okay. So if it is changing and it's idling down, that means that basically that, that plug is getting, uh, it's getting gas and it's got decent compression and uh, everything else is good. Now, if you pull it out, like I know on mine, it's this one here. Pull it out, nothing happens. But if you listen, you can hear the spark. The spark is down in there. If you take it off, see right there? It's getting good spark. So, what you want to do after that, if you want, you can take the uh, spark plug out, inspect it, make sure it's not cracked or anything like that. Now, I did this on this car. <laughs> and uh, another thing, let's say if I pull this out and it doesn't change, right? You want to make sure your wires are okay. So what I did on this one, because it doesn't look right, was I know that this one's good, right? Because it's changed the idle. So this plug, plug wire is good. I just swapped out one plug wire for the other to see if I move this plug wire to this one and you know rearrange it over here is the misfire going to move to this cylinder and of course it didn't it stayed on this cylinder so it, it definitely tells you well something's going on here take your spark, a spark plug out you inspect it all that stuff I actually changed the spark plug in this one and I uh, didn't didn't do anything still doing the same thing so the next thing you want to do is I'm using this but the best way to do is get a a decent size screwdriver um, with a uh, hard plastic tip on the injectors you want to touch it to the injectors and then you want to put your ear up right here now what you should hear if, if the bottom part is touching the injector what you're gonna hear here is um, it's gonna sound kind of like an electric spark like now you want to go through every single one Make sure all of them is making that sound. Now on this one, when I got here, this one was making no sound whatsoever. So that's telling me that this injector is no good. So let me shut it off here. Now in, in some other cases, if your injector is good, your spark plug wire is good, your spark plug is good, <clears throat> If you're getting gas and spark there, and it's still misfiring on this, uh, I would say eight out of ten cases, you have an issue with either piston rings are bad, you got a leaky head gasket, or you got uh, carbon buildup on your valves, which is not letting you get compression, which is going to make that cylinder run like crap. Um, now everybody knows Honda civic engines they're they're bad about head gaskets when they overheat and stuff like that as far as i know this car hasn't been overheated but then again <clears throat> it's been wrecked so you know who says that they didn't wreck it and then you know try to make it home 20 miles and it overheated but thank god all i have to do is change out this injector here and uh should be good to go and um 
let me give you a walk around of this car real quick <clears throat> paid 800 bucks for it it's a uh, decent condition this si model of course vtech it's got the crazy body kit on it but uh what i'm going to be working on probably today and tomorrow is doing a front end conversion i've already got an aftermarket uh hood but i'm going with the uh the front end from a 93 civic and um a civic two-door hatchback because they'll sell parts are just incredibly hard to find uh especially used and there's a place called certifit where i get all my new parts and they don't even sell delso parts because they're specifically for delso and uh when you come when you go with honda civics and stuff you know a lot of the body parts and lights and stuff are interchangeable so they actually keep them in stock so what i'm going to be doing is cutting this fender and uh taking the uh the civic fender cutting it also fitting everything up of course i gotta straighten all this up first i'm gonna have to change the uh radiator core support and um take the rest of this ugly ass body kit off of there and see if i can't get the uh the civics front end to line up and actually look good so we'll see but anyway that's the easiest way to check and see where a misfire is coming from if you have any other questions just hit me up